A couple days later, Mary Magdalene went to the grave together with two other women. They wanted to anoint Jesus' body with oil, which was the custom. On the way there, they worried about how they would remove the huge stone and if the soldiers would even let them through. But when they got there, the stone was already rolled away and the soldiers were gone. They went into the tomb and all they found there were the cloths that Jesus' body had been wrapped in. Then a messenger from God, an angel, appeared to them. He said, don't be afraid. Jesus isn't here anymore. He's alive. The women were overjoyed and went to tell the other followers of Jesus about what had happened. The others couldn't believe it at first. Peter got up and ran to the grave to see for himself. He found the tomb empty, just like the women had described it. Deep in thought, he went away, puzzled about what might have happened to Jesus' body. The same day, two of the disciples, Jesus' friends, were leaving Jerusalem on their way to a small town. They were having a deep discussion about everything that had happened. Then Jesus joined them and asked what they were talking about, but they didn't recognize him. They told him everything that had happened in the last days, and he explained to them why it all had to happen that way. Still, they didn't recognize that it was Jesus talking to them. In the evening, they invited him to eat supper with them. When Jesus broke the bread, they finally recognized who he was. But right at that moment, he disappeared. A while later, some of the disciples were meeting together. Some of them had already seen Jesus alive again after his death and had told the others about it, full of joy. But one of the disciples, Thomas, couldn't believe it. I have to see him with my own eyes, he said, and feel the wounds in his hands from the nails on the cross. Then I'll believe it. At that very moment, Jesus appeared in the room and greeted them all. He showed Thomas his wounds and encouraged him. You believe now because you can see that it's true. Happy are those who believe even without seeing. Then they ate together and were overjoyed to have Jesus with them again. After coming back from the dead, Jesus spent 40 days together with his friends, who he called disciples. One day, he gathered them all together on a hill. The time had come for him to leave. He had one last thing to tell them. To me has been given all the power and authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, I am sending you out to all the nations of the world. Make them my disciples too. Baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as a sign that they belong to me and teach them everything that you learned from me. You can be 100% sure that I will be with you always, no matter where you are, until the end of time. After that, Jesus was covered in a cloud and vanished. <laughs>